Today's project is to fix this. It's a common garden pitchfork. Uh, Bunnings sell them for about 50 bucks. You can pick up an equivalent at Yandina Markets for 25. Uh, the problem is that it's broken here. So the head's good, the handle's good. The only thing's wrong with it is the, the piece of wood. And the guy who asked me to fix it, uh, I said, sorry, no, it's not worth it. $25 at Yandina Markets. If you think about the economics of it, it's gonna take me all day to fix this. So it's not worth it, it's a throwaway item. So he was a bit upset, he threw it in the bin. And uh, the reason why he was upset is because he believes that um, you shouldn't have a throwaway society. And uh, neither do I. And then I thought about it a bit later, and I thought, well, all I need is a bit of wood, and I can round that piece off, make it fit into there. I do that with hammer handles and axe handles all the time, so it's not that hard. I can, it doesn't need to be perfectly, perfectly round. I don't, I don't need a lathe, I don't need any power tools. I can do this completely with hand tools, and uh, that's today's project. I'm gonna replace this, this handle, this bit of wood, just using hand tools. I'm gonna engrave Ian's name in it and I'm gonna give it to him as a surprise. And uh, yeah, I think it'll take me a couple of hours. Let's, let's, let's have a go. There's still the other end of the handle stuck in here. I'm gonna screw this screw in and then use that as leverage to try and pull it out. Oh, yes! Well, that was easier than what I expected. Awesome. Okay, I've marked it out. Uh, there's a slot in this end because that stops the handle from twisting on the wood. Uh, this end of my piece has a, a borer hole that sort of like goes through there. I don't think that's going to affect the structural integrity of the handle. So I'm going to try this bit of wood. If that looks too bad, I'll have to uh, grab another bit of wood. I'm going to start with uh, taking off the corners. I'm going to leave one, one flat on here, one semi piece of flat. And that's where I'm going to carve in the word Ian. Let's get to it.
Okay, so I've never done carving before. <laughs> but I've got the tools and I've got a test piece. So I'm going to do a quick test on here. If it goes smoothly, I'll carve Ian into there. So I had a quick practice and I decided to use normal chisels since all the letters are uh, straight. Uh, and I quickly learnt that if I hit it too hard, I chip it out. So I've now got a technique for making the design. Uh, I think the trick will be to, to mark it out really neatly with a, with a pencil and a ruler, and then just take my time. Well, that's it. Uh, I think I might make it a bit deeper. Well, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to sand that up now. Okay, I'm going to give it a quick coat of linseed oil to protect it. And then the hard bit, working out how to retouch the head and the handle. That is a really nice piece of wood. Ian suggested that I use this rod because he's seen it on a couple other projects I've made. Put it through the hole, cut it off, peen it over with a ball peen hammer, except the original pins had a, a big lip on it. And if I try and peen that over to be the same, I'm just gonna make a mess of it. So what I found, I found some bolts. I'm gonna try use them. Got the uh, first one in. Now let's put the head on. I need to get it down seated as, as, as far as possible. And I think 
that's about it. So the way I did the handle was I marked the hole. Actually, I'll leave that on. The way I did the handle was I marked the hole and then uh, drilled it and then fit it. But uh, I like the way this is feeling tight, so. I'm gonna drill that in place. There you go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to peen over that that, that uh, bolt so I can't screw out. Do the same thing for that one. A couple more coats of finish on the handle. And it's done. Finished. What do you think? So there you go. Busted a piece of junk to a beautiful usable tool. Not sure what sort of wood it is, but it's beautiful. Thanks for watching.